last 24 hours it's turned from a beautiful arctic day or in fact we've had a beautiful arctic week beautiful sun um, suddenly it's turned into a different world completely where you can't see any horizons the winds kicked up to about 15 knots um, the whole landscape has changed um, from being flat and not very much snow suddenly we've got drifts about three feet deep um, and uh, well, there are no days out here, we just need to get the science done, so Sunday doesn't matter. Um, and I'm going for my Sunday morning cycle. Uh, this is to help winch down the plankton trawls, um, so that um, the scientists can collect all their crustacea and study them. Cycling in the blizzard is not as bad as I thought it was going to be, because the blizzard has brought um, warmer temperatures. The temperature's probably gone up about 10, almost probably 15 degrees um, with the cloud coming in and everything. Um, dress, I'm dressed up quite um, snugly, so hopefully that's keeping the wind out. So uh, it's not bad. It's the, the only thing is the pace I have to cycle at is exceedingly slow, so it's not actually keeping me warm or anything. So, yeah, not, it's all right. Tell me when to count. One hundred and fifty. So it's a bit of a blustery Sunday today, but that's not stopping our science. We decided that since we can't do very much outside because of the weather, that we'd focus our efforts on the inside. In this tent here, we have our water hole um, where we have access to the seawater below the ice that we're living on. And so what we've been doing every hour on the hour uh, is a net trawl basically trying to collect plankton that are uh, or small animals swimming around in the water. So inside this tent here is our hole in the ice with our nets and then coming out right behind me that Ian was using earlier is our bike winch that's operating the nets going into and out of the water. Uh, just trying to build a uh... Uh, just a snow wall to protect the cyclist on the bike winch in this rather unpleasant weather that we're having. Uh, so yeah, well, partly to protect and to make the life easier for the person cycling, and also to uh, stop the winch drum and the mechanism getting full of snow. So it's just to try and make life easier, like everything we do around here. It's, uh, it's not been too bad actually. Obviously, we've had a lot more snow, a lot more wind, but it's been a lot warmer. Um, another 10 degrees, so it's no only, you know, what was it, about minus 25 or something like that. Which, believe it or not, folks, is really warm. <laughs> okay, so it's now uh, Monday. We've had uh, sort of a day and a half of not very nice weather. And it's nice to see the, uh, the sun back. It's a beautiful day here, not much wind. Uh, and so uh, we managed to uh, survive this, the, uh, the bad weather. It wasn't, wasn't quite as windy as forecast, which was always a good thing, but we did get quite a lot of drifting snow. You don't get that much precipitation here, but if we put a camp here, then all the drifting snow collects around camp and creates lots of problems with drift. Uh, it was a bit of a problem with the bare fence getting drifted over, and uh, you can probably see behind me there's sledges and so forth are drifted in, and it causes a lot of problems around, around the tents. But uh, it all wasn't too much of a problem. People, people came through fine. So uh, yeah, it's good to come out the other side of it and back to nice weather.